You don't really know something unless you're able to take it apart and experiment with it. So for example, I like taking apart TV remotes when I'm watching TV and taking out the batteries, but you know, I really know how to use that TV remote, right? Maybe I'm weird like that. But for this video, I'm taking the grid effect and I'm showing three different uses for this. It's amazing how many different ways you can use the grid effect. And in this video, we're gonna use it to enhance our motion graphics. So if you're the type of person that wants to produce better work, you know, increase the value of your projects, I have a feeling that this video is right for you. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is doing awesome today. So you know what this video is about? We're going to talk about three ways to use the grid effect right here in After Effects. Alrighty, and always, you can download our project files for free if you want to follow along. I'm not going to stop you from downloading them. Here we are in Toro Composition. All we have in here is a solid layer. And first thing we're going to do, of course, is go to Effect, Generate, and there is that beautiful grid effect right there. And you apply that. And the first thing we'll do is where it says corner point, we're gonna change this to width and height sliders because you know you gotta stand out. We'll set the width and the height to 200, and this will give you a little bit more space. You can increase those numbers if you wanna have a little bit more gapage here. All right, so what we're gonna do here is turn this into a 3D layer. Click that box right there, bam, <laughs> boom, and we'll hit R and keyboard for rotation. Come into Y rotation and set this to 90 degrees. Boom, you get the straight line. Then you'll hit P on your keyboard for position, and you can move this over to one side of your composition. And you know, we'll put it right there for now. Okay, great. So we need to set this up for success and make this look good. So what we'll do is come here to layer solid settings. And this is where you want to get a little bit crazy with this. You want to go ahead and increase the width, you know, a little bit lengthy in there. And we can also increase the height as we see fit if you want to do that. Okay, then you can also just hit P on your keyboard again. And you can just come here to the Z position and move that forward in time. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. Okay. So we have this in here, then we'll go to Effect, Generate, and we're gonna grab Gradient Ramp. If you zoom out here, you'll see we'll have two anchor points here. We, what we wanna do is make sure that black color kind of blends in with the background, and you have the second point here. And we'll kind of just move that point in the middle part of this so that'll be a white grid. So you see how that kind of blends in there just fine. So what we can do here is take our grid layer and go to Edit, Duplicate, and we'll hit PR and Keyboard for Position, and we can move this over to the other side of our composition. Okay, right, so. Now what we can do is go to layer new null object and we can grab both of our grids here and parent it to the null and of course make this a 3D layer and we'll hit R on keyboard for rotation. You come here to Z rotation and now you see where I'm getting at. You can add a keyframe for that rotation. You can move forward to the end of your composition and you can just rotate this and this will create somewhat of a nice speed within your work. So obviously you're gonna to wanna to put this grid effect in with like a title or a logo, but it adds see these details to the side and it looks really cool for our first technique. However, our second technique, we need to take this to the next level uh, and make this stand out with some creative effects. All right, so to really make this stand out, I wanna talk about some creative effects that you can apply. So what we'll do is go to layer, new adjustment layer. We'll come here to effect, distort, and we're gonna grab optics compensation. And we'll come here to field of view, increase that up to like 70 to 80 and reverse lens distortion. And you see this will distort our grid here and that's great. Uh, we can also, once again, always add a noise effect to this and set this up to like 8%. And one thing I would do with this sort of technique is go to layer new solid and create an off black background. So it's not completely black and that noise will start to stand out. You might not see it on YouTube. And one last creative effect I would add in this one is go to effect, stylize and grab motion tile. Okay, and what I would do with this is come here to the beginning of the timeline and I would add a keyframe for tile center, go to the end of your animation, and I would grab either the X or the Y value, and I would go ahead and just change those parameters. You know, just go ahead and increase that number by at least a thousand or so, and make sure you check on mirror edges. And I'll go ahead and just copy this effect to the other grid effect so you can see what I'm talking about, and actually I'll have that go in the other direction. All right, and now with these effects applied, it has a whole new creative perspective to our work and it looks really awesome. And of course, to pay the bills, I wanna give a huge shout out to our 100 title pack extension right here for After Effects. So this is our After Effects extension with our 100 title pack in here. And simply this extension allows us to import templates into any After Effects project we're working on. And we can apply, a, say, a title template that we want that is perfectly designed and we click on apply. And we import a full title animation template that we can adjust right here in our composition. We go into that comp and easily change out our titles. And we build our templates to allow you to easily adjust our titles. So for example, if you wanna adjust the size of the graphics here, you can just come here to our control panel 
and boom you bring that down and we can of course move other elements as well and now the graphic has been resized if we don't need a specific title we can go ahead and turn that off and what's great about our 100 title pack is that it doesn't change the animation whatsoever all the animations stay exactly the same and of course you can easily change your colors however you see fit and everything will update in our main composition we have a handful of other packs as well that we can switch over to and apply elements from you can of course download our freebie pack and you can get 42 free elements for absolutely free that will be linked below so if you want to save time and produce better work you can take a look at any of the packs off our website i will link them below if you do pick up anything you will be supporting our channel so thank you very much our last technique is putting together this full you know grid here all around the sides here and even though you may know how to do this it's not as easy as you think but it's still a very simple process so let me show you how to set this up correctly all right so you remember our first technique where we set up the grids on the sides like this well you should definitely go in that direction but we need to keep in mind of a few things so first things first, go ahead and set up your grids if you have not done that already, like in our first technique. And the next obvious thing to do is to take one of these grids and of course duplicate it. And we'll hit R on the keyboard for rotation. And you can set the Y rotation back to zero degrees. And we'll come here to the X rotation and set that to 90 degrees. And boom, it's gonna be flat right there in the composition. You can hit P on the keyboard for position and you can hit bring down the Y position and you know try to bring this down to the bottom. Now, one thing you'll notice is that these grids are overlapping each other and it looks ugly so what we have to do in order to fix this is very simple and what we'll do is come here to layer solid settings and we'll come here to width and just chop this down right so we'll go ahead and bring this down and click ok so one thing you'll notice is that we're kind of lowering in the edges here and then we'll have to go to the other grids and change their solid settings as well and we'll come here to the height and really bring this down as well and it looks like we might have to go to like a 680 on this height okay and then you can just hit P on keyboard for position and you can bring up the side here. And it doesn't have to be 100% perfect or anything like that, but you wanna, it's gonna take some fine tuning to make this perfect. And you can come into these grids and adjust like the width and height to kind of match this exactly where it needs to be. And I think that's totally fine. And we need to expand the bottom here. So once again, go to layer, solid settings. Uh, this time, you know, we'll go ahead and use the right parameter here. Click okay. Perfect, so as you can see, it's just a matter of playing with those parameters to make this look good. And of course, once you have everything ready to go, you can duplicate your bottom grid and move this up. And perfect, you know, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. You can really perfect it, but it's up to you. And of course, you can create your null object and parent that to the null. And we can quickly add a 3D rotation by the Z rotation to this and rotate this in you know, space here and that looks really cool and now we have a really cool unique look here I also have motion tile applied to to the sides here so of course with all these effects together you can really take this to the next level and it looks really cool so that is our video on the grid effect I hope you enjoyed this video if you're new here be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel you can also hit me up on my social media networks those links are below and always be creating